Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures and I'm here to share with you my latest project. This is a team swap with um, Anna and Violet and um, Anna's already shown her videos um, on both of the swaps and here is my video. So we were going to do 10 items and um, put it in some type of a suitcase box or something like that. So the box I used is the one from Michaels and it looks like this. It looks like a suitcase. That's what it looks like. Okay. And then this is the images on the top. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this, but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you. I love the um, handle on it. I left it plain so that when I ship it to her, it's easier for her to, um, you know, to open it and everything and not have to worry about anything falling apart in shipping. So everything fits inside the box, so let me share with you. I hope this video is not going to take forever, but I'm going to try to do my best to get through this video without having to do several videos at one time, okay? So it just opens up like this, and then I'm going to start with my first item. I'm so excited. I can't wait for her to get her box. This was a lot of fun to do. I don't know. I'm going to give you like a little sneak peek peak. How about that? Okay. The first item that I made, and this is not going in any kind of order, um, I made her a sewing bag. And this is using the Michaels bag. And it says, if the crown fits, wear it. And it's um, a canvas bag. And it already had the image on it. And of course, I had to bedazzle it up. So first what I did is I added a Prima flower um, on the top here and underneath that is two layers of lace okay and this all, all these products come from ooh la la and in my stash so this is a prima right here and then behind it I put a couple pieces of crepe paper so let me see if you can get that in there closer and you guys excuse my nails it has been raining every day and I haven't been able to go get my nails done and I want to get this video done so I just said forget about the nails, let's get the products, um, the projects in the video so you guys could see them. So anyways, back to that. Um, so I used this Prima flower here and then I also added um, one of these ribbon flowers right here. And then these are Prima flowers that I had picked up at my local thrift store. And they're all in these really pretty brown tones. So I just added a button there. And then this is a vintage thimble and what I tried to do was make it like almost like a little um, pot so instead of using it like a thimble I kind of use it as a pot but it's all hand painted which is really cool I love that detail and then I just tucked um, a doily inside a piece of a doily so if she wanted to she could take it out and use that little piece if she wants to but I just left it loose in there another ribbon flower here another button and these are all the bu buttons from Michaels and then I used, um, this was a piece of metal finding that I have in one of my kits. I used several kits in this, um, in these projects for her, for her. And most of them were the Antique Attic and I believe it was um, also the Vintage um, Pink. But if you have any questions, I can, I'll be happy to help you with that. This is a Vintage Button right here and it has like gold and silver in it. It's really sparkly and pretty. So I added that. Underneath that is a piece of um, applique. You really can't see it. It's kind of hidden under there. But there's an applique there. Another button over here in the corner. And then in the middle I just added this. Um, I have these pieces that I took off of um, some shoes and it kind of looks like part of the crown. So I just added that to it right there. Okay. And then a couple flat back pearls from my friend Amanda. Hi, Amanda. And I forgot to say hi to Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> I know you've been waiting for this to come out, and I'm just so excited that I finally get to do the video. <laughs> I really put a lot of time and effort into your project, so I hope that you love them as much as I love sending them to you. Um, here we go. So here's another Prima flower here, and then I layered some other flowers underneath, so it kind of gave it a little bit of extra fluff there. And then I added another piece of the applique like I just showed you over there. And this is a vintage pearl right here inside of a gold piece. And then this right here is a ring that I took apart. And it was supposed to be a double ring. And so I cut the shank off. 
and this is what you get and I will be making a kit for this so I'm really excited about this because it's really big it's about I guess it's about four inches tall something like that I'm not good with measuring but I think it's three inches four inches tall something like that so I added that and another of the flowers right here okay so that's what I did there and then I just added this simple little charm here this was some beads off of a vintage necklace and um, Anna, you could take this apart if you want to. It's um, up to you. But it has a gold bead dangling, and it has like a gold bead here, and then there's one like rattling inside. So it's just stuck to the top, just for some interest in the um, in the bag. So I'm going to show you again what the bag looks like. I was super excited to decorate this bag. I could have gone on the other side, but I did not because I want her to use this for her sewing bag. So if she's looking for her sewing items, she can find everything right in this bag because it has a zipper compartment. Okay, so I'm going to open up the compartment and show you what I put inside. I had um, done a previous video a while ago on um, making this right here. I made uh, Anna one of these too as well. And it's a needle case that you put needles in. And then I just put a bling on top of that. So that's what it looks like there. Just some sequin trim and some laces and different things like that okay so that's what I did with in her um, she has inside is some um, different you can see that I don't know if you can see them inside but there's a little needles inside there for her so I put that in there and then also included just some thread for her and when she's making her flowers she'll be able to you know make her projects and then stick them in this bag so I thought that was really cool and um, it was a lot of fun to make. So that's number one, you guys. I still have nine more projects to share with you. Okay, so I'll be back in just a minute to share with you my next project. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, bye everyone.